What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Brees here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to make the Samsung Galaxy S10e faster. So you're going to start by pulling down the shade here, going to the settings, going to search, and typing in reduce animations. This is going to take you over to an advanced feature called reduce animations, and then here you can see we have a reduce animations option. It says tone down motion effects on the screen, such as when apps are opened or closed. So when you check this on, it's going to speed up animations throughout the device. So everything is going to run a lot quicker, things are going to pull up quicker, and overall, it's going to make the experience here faster. So another way to make this faster is to pull down the shade, go to the settings again, go to search, look up build number, and you're going to see the build number right here. Tap on that several times and then put in your pin. And you've now accessed developer mode. Now go to the main settings page, scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see a new thing here, developer options. Tap on developer options, then scroll down until you see advanced animation settings. And you're going to see three of them here. So we have window animation scale, transition animation scale, an animator duration scale. So by default, they're all set to 1x, but you can speed things up here by going to 0.5x, or you can completely turn off animations. So let's first try 0.5x on all of these. And you can see it already makes things really quick, really fast, and kind of combining that with the fact that this device has six gigabytes of RAM and is already really quick, just makes things even faster. So this is pretty insane. You know, you can pretty much access all parts of the device way quicker because you don't have to wait for the animations to come up. I know one thing about Samsung specifically is that they're really notorious for having long animations. So shortening those animations can really help improve your user experience. Now let's go back to the settings here, go back to developer options, and then go down to the animation settings again and we're going to completely turn off the animations. And now you'll see that things are even faster. As if things weren't fast enough already, things are even faster now by completely turning off the animations. I mean, this thing flies. This is ridiculous. You know how fast you can really get through everything on the device. I mean, this is pretty insane, to be honest. <laughs> so if you want to keep it like that, you can keep it like that. You can, of course, always revert things back to how it was before. And you can turn the animations back to 1x if you want to. But you can also really slow things down and try out 10x. And you can see just how ridiculously slow 10x animations are. I mean, I don't know of any situation where you'd want to do 10x animations. Because this is just really not practical in any situation. But at least you have the option here. And you're able to see how slowly things go with the animation set at 10x. So that's pretty wild. I don't think I would ever use that in any sort of situation. But if you want to go back to how things were, go back to the settings here, and it'll slowly go back to those settings. Go to developer options, go back down here, and then you can do 0.5x, animations off, or 1x, whatever you want to do. Personally, I think 0.5x is the sweet spot here, kind of the middle ground, so that you still get a little bit of animations, but it's still a lot faster. So I just feel like that's kind of the best, you know, kind of in-between setting here with the device. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make the Samsung Galaxy S10e faster. If you found it helpful, then definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button and sub to the channel. And if you have any suggestions on future videos you'd like me to see on the channel, definitely let me know. And if you're looking to buy the Samsung Galaxy S10e, I do have a link in the video description which will take you over where you can buy it factory unlocked from Amazon. This is the version of the device that works on all four major US carriers. So it works on Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. So it's really the best version of the phone in my opinion. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.